So he's actually gonna start this one out with just a kick drum. Well, we can tell by the tempo that he's not gonna do something that sounds too new school. And now he's doubling up the kick to give it more knock. And that's something that we see very common with uh, Crank Lucas as a producer. You see here that he's now starting to go through his snares and uh, he's gonna pick the right one. Now he's doubling up on his snare exactly. This, this is, you know, he wants it to sound very full and meaningful. A very interesting hi-hat scheme right yeah, there. Yeah, actually two different hi-hats, but put together they just take a nice walk. Looks like he's going through the percussion section. Yeah, he's gonna find something that he deems uh, appropriate for this beat. And there it goes. He just gave this beat a lot of personality with that melody. It's amazing how he's so unafraid to step outside the box. Not only stay true to his roots, but also uh, the ability to make music that sounds both current and vintage at the same time. It's really Amazing. And right on cue, there goes the scratches. Yeah, the scratches, the, um, they definitely add that flavor, that Timberland boot flavor. <laughs> he always says he likes to do the bass last. And it's amazing uh, the way that he's able to come up with these melodies, whether he's playing the bass on the keyboard or playing the bass in person. I guess he chose to uh, keep it simple this time. 